this is the hair cap moss that we decided to use that I decided to use for the underground filter with the moss substrate um, it's a little bit dried out at the tops this is all clay down here that comes from Tennessee they actually are a pretty good company they gave this to me for free because they accidentally sent it out but it comes in bags like this and some of them are pretty heavy like that's a little baby one that's how the, the first bunch that came was all like that okay so here's a bunch which that one's not too bad you clean the mud off it's not super tall i mean look at the difference here you got this one that's probably almost 13 14 inches tall when it gets in the water and there's still plenty more in there but i've got to get this all out today and wash this one's a heavy one give me one second All right, so this is a bigger bundle. Um, it actually looks like a few. So there's a piece in that one. Another smaller piece. Sorry. And then you get these big clumps. I had been just knocking the dirt off of it a little bit, but they've been falling apart. So I've been just hosing some of the clay off and then putting it in the tank. And there's still probably three or four pieces left in there um yeah this place is called the wholesale club of tennis uh tennessee wholesale nursery i believe um i'm sure if you google that that it'll take you to it um they've done really well the clay comes off fairly easy and changes i'm in a little bit of a panic because I just broke one of my breeding tanks. I slipped and fell against it. So I'm pumping the water out of that now and then I'm sure that'll be a nice job to do. Alright, we'll see you later guys.